Hello, people. I hope that everybody is feeling great and smiling, and I am feeling fantastic at this time. Welcome to a galaxy that is not so far, far away. It's very near, near here. And this is CG3 coming back at you with some, or what you should call another analysis of my weird philosophy. <laughs> Now, I mean, I've never said before, but you know what? If you like me, go ahead and uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or subscribe. And just me in the comments or tell your friends that I'm a shit. Sounds like you met the real turd named Chuck. Chuck is a shit. Yeah, say that. And I'll be extremely happy. Um, anyway, sorry about the profanity, but it just rolls off the tongue. So, lovely shit. 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 You took a shit. <laughs> anyway. How, oh, for it. A lot of men and women would love to say that they are in, ah, uh, whatever call. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna dive back into this. One second, one second, one second. Okay, let me get back to it. Um. A lot of men and women would love to say they're in happy, loving relationships. A lot of men would believe that if they are in relationships, that their girls really dig them. So I want you to think about this. Do you get it wet? Or better yet, speaking straight up, do you make her wet? Now I know you're probably wondering, what is he talking about? Of course I get her wet. Ha ha. You think so? Okay. Scenario. You've been dating a woman. Dating, because you guys do that. Um, you've been dating a woman for uh, some time. And I'm assuming she's not a virgin. So, yeah, she can't be a virgin. So you, you guys have been intimate two or three or four times over six months, seven month period, however long it takes for you to get to the golden spot, to get to the wet slit, to the happy nappy, whatever term you want to use. Um, the question should be, does she ever call you just because, like, hey, what are you doing? You know, I got to do the female good old voice, which I'm not good at, so let me stop. Has she ever called, no, I got to do it because I say like a man, I'm thinking it's a dude. So, has she ever, has she ever called you and be like, hey, big boy. What are you doing? I'm just chilling. Um, let's, let's go over this. Let's just hang out and not go anywhere. You know what? Or she calls you. Ever called you like at ten o'clock at night? Oh, I just miss you. Let's come cuddle. Now, if she has done that, didn't ask you to go anywhere, didn't ask you to bring nothing. She says she want to see you. Most likely, you get her wet. But if she has never done that for you, she doesn't. Ever, 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 ever say, hey, I'm not doing nothing. Why don't you just come on by? Um, most likely, she doesn't get wet for you. Yes. That's the problem. I don't think a lot of brothers understand that she doesn't get wet for you. And why is that? Now, I'm going to break it down. Um, I always want to say uh, relationships is one of three things. And we're going to add four because it's going to be a mixture of all three. So it could be either um, emotional, financial, or sexual. When was, and it can be a mixture of all three. Um, a lot of women will give with men uh, for emotional and financial support, but don't at all feel like they can connect with you sexually. I've talked to ladies that say they'd be happy having sex twice a year. So if she tells you that, you don't get her wet. Tell her to go. Now, people have different type of libidos. Some people want to do it all the time. Some people um, are good just having sex uh, once a week or twice a week or whatever, a little small, three times a week, whatever small number they have. Some people want to do it three or four times a day. And um, it is what it is. However, it would behoove men to learn. To learn, is she into you or is she not? Do, 
and does it get wet for you? Do you get it wet? Does she get wet for you? Those are the questions that you need to kind of figure out. You Maybe you need to come up with your own test. But for me, I'm pretty sure that if she gets wet for you and you don't live with her sooner or later, she's going to ask you to go to her spot. And I'm not saying it's some anomaly and it may never happen. But listen, if she is not a virgin and you guys believe in engaging in pre- I don't want to say the term premarital sex, <laughs> word, but you are engaging in a sexual activity. Sexual activity. If you engage in sexual activity, then most likely she's going to get wet for you. And if she doesn't ever call you to come over late at night, she don't say, hey, come by my house and smack her on the that old ass. She don't say, hey, big boy. Uh, hey, big boy. Come on over my house. Now, if she doesn't say any of that stuff to you, she says, we don't go anywhere. We don't do anything. Let's go to this play. I'm tired. Oh, I gotta get up at work in the morning. Uh, I know some women will say that's not true. You don't get it wet. You don't get her wet. You don't turn her on. If she wants you to stop, she says, for real? Yeah. Truthfully, and ladies will deny this, she's not with you because you get it wet. She's with you for either emotional or financial. And to keep you there, she'll give you a little bit. See, that's the problem. It should not be, uh, I'm going to do this out. You should want to want to do your dude. If you don't want to do whoever you're dating, the dudes you're dating, because a lot of y'all dating more than one, then, you know, how you feel about a man not wanting to marry you the same way, you know, you feel about uh, a, a woman that's saying I'm loving a dude, but you're not really uh, feeling him like that. You're just using him for financial security and somebody to listen to your stupid ass tales. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with this. Uh, I am not an expert. I'm telling you how to get it wet. No, but you all need to learn how to get it wet we all don't have the same game we all don't have the same style all you guys couldn't be a, a geek like me and be as smooth as this because i'm smooth smooth geeky geek like smooth criminal i can do that can you do that can you get it wet can you make it drip drip drop i get it hot <laughs> oh i'm just being silly as shit right now oh, i'm feeling great i am Fucking off a little bit of sleep, and um, just I'm ready, I'm ready for it, cause I can get it wet. <laughs> I can get it wet. Hmm. I'm gonna go a little hard now. Maybe I'm gonna give it some try. I'm gonna give it some try. Now, I would love to hear in the comment sections, which I probably will not. How does, how do, or how does other brothers get it wet what do you all say to get her motivated to do what you need to do how do you not know how do you know can you partake um, can you see if she is into you physically or is all because you move too fast and she had to placate your dumb ass that uh you know you don't make it drip you know uh, it is what it is Oh, I'm starting to get sleepy, but we gonna go on a tangent, a tangent other than getting it wet. How do you deal with funk smell? Is that a turn off? Is that a turn on? I got a friend, man, and he loved the smell of the fish slayer. He loved it. He like, mm, I just love the aroma. I just like to stick my nose in it and try to use it like tissue. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he loves that stuff, man. Uh, I remember one day, this one day, when I was younger, um, I wanted to go to this girl. Beautiful chick. I took my finger somewhere it should have been, and I was at the end, I was like, nah, I'm good. I am good. Oh, man. I want to have a great sleep. You know, I've been doing too much at night. I've been doing it too much. Um, I want to see the Infinity War movie. Um, if I get some sleep, maybe I get to see it. I didn't see it Thursday when it was cheap, but I probably should have. But I was caught up creating, like I'm doing now. Creating. I'm creating. I'm creating. And I'm 
done with this. I hope you all feel great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>